you're going. Okay, today we're going to be taking copper pennies. We're going to put them in a zinc solution to galvanize them. And then once they're done, we're going to heat them and form brass. So we're basically going to take pennies and we're going to make them gold. But not really. So the first thing we're going to do here is we have some zinc sulfate. We're going to take that. It's about 60 grams. We're going to dissolve it in water, about 200 milliliters of water. Put that all in there. Probably actually use that. Okay, then we're going to put that in the heat source. We're going to heat that up. A brief overview of what's happening is we have the copper pennies. We're going to add some zinc metal in this. And as long as the copper is contacting the zinc, there's going to be zinc ions that we're dissolving in the water. So the zinc ions are going to sink out the pieces of zinc which are contacting the copper. It's going to galvanize them by coating them. So the first thing you're going to see, it's going to, be, it's going to have a layer of silver. So it's going to turn to silver. Okay. Waiting on this to heat up and dissolve once it's nice and clear and near, near boiling is the right point. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the pieces of zinc metal, as I mentioned before, add these in. We're going to sprinkle them all around because the copper has to be contacting them while it happens. Sprinkle some all over. Okay. You can see that they're scattered. Can you see that right there? Yep. Scattered all across the bottom. So no matter where we drop the penny, it will be contacting it. Take one penny. We're also using we're using one pre-1982 and one post-1982 to see if there's any difference with the different compounds of pennies. There we go. It's starting to get a little bit clearer. You can see. Just gonna move the zinc over so it's actually contacting the pennies for sure. Okay. Now we wait for it to galvanize. Safety here. Carefully, it's boiling. Hey. Oh. All right, now we're going to take the solution, which is safely disposable. We're going to dump most of it out. So I get the pennies out. It's very, very hot. It's boiling. So as much of that out of there as I can. All right, now we use our tweezers. See how good I am at grabbing the pennies out. Not very. A little lighter grip here. There we go. There's one. Fail at grabbing. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and dip them in water to clean them off from the zinc solution. Okay. 
Now, as you can see, I mentioned earlier that we were working with a post and pre 1982 penny. See, the 2007 penny still retains the copper, whereas the 1972 has the desired effect of the silver. It's clearly plated with uh, the zinc. So, see that really well there. All right, now we're going to make sure this is good and dry. And we're going to put this directly on the Bunsen burner. What is going to happen is the copper of the penny is going to fuse with the zinc we plated it with. And it's going to turn it a yellow color by forming brass. So just crank it on right there. You're looking for a color change. It's going to be turning yellow. You see it's losing the, the grayish hue to it. We'll flip it over here and make sure you can see both sides. Yeah, there, there you go. You can see the oops. You can see the side that was directly down now is a definite yellow tint. That's the brass that we're forming. Okay, we're done there. I'm gonna take this, we're gonna dip it in the water here. It's gonna be extremely hot. And the finished product. Let's go to the original. I don't know if you can tell there, it's got a definite yellow. Probably work better if I had a white. I hope I can see it. You can see it there? Yep. And the, again, that's because of the zinc ions that we galvanized it with, uh, with the heat source, has been fused with the copper, forming brass or a yellow looking color. And then um, it's also be noted that no one should attempt to try to resell this as gold because this is, this is just on the surface layer. And you can see if you scratch it, you can see that right there. You can actually see the copper right through that. It's actually probably a really good angle. You can actually see. There we go. You can actually see. You can scrape that layer right away. So it's only temporary galvanizing on the outside, but then that external layer was formed with heat, and it did form brass. And that is the golden penny experiment. Safety first again. Goggles.